polar form of vectors so we had originally a uh, vector could be written as uh, two coordinates a b where you go over a up b and that's the arrow right there this is going to in polar form look a lot like the uh, complex polar form so you get magnitude of v which is the modulus or the distance from the origin so that's the length of the uh, arrow and what you're going to do here there's two ways to write it. if I keep it in diamond notation we have a uh, cosine theta comma sine theta so you could write it like this of course you can distribute your v the magnitude inside to those two terms uh, and then the other way you can write it is i's and j's. So we got i cos theta plus j sine theta. So those are the two different ways to write it. So these are all be word problems here. So we're going to write a vector uh, that's going to represent magnitude and direction. So we have a ball being thrown with initial speed 